We were called to rescue a kitten with a broken back and paralyzed hind legs. She had fallen into a septic tank hole. Oh my goodness, did you see him? Yeah, he's actually sitting in water. She was sitting in raw sewage and covered in feces. Because her hind legs were inoperable, she couldn't pull herself out of the hole. The ground above the septic tank was unstable and collapsing. We had to be careful about where we stepped so that it wouldn't cave in, causing harm to the kitten and perhaps crushing my arm. The kitten was out of our reach. We tried to lure her closer with food. It worked because she was starving. It was scary reaching into the hole as it was filled with black widows and mosquitoes everywhere. We finally lured her close enough to catch her with a net. We started pulling her up and had to reach both arms in to get her scruffed as she was biting and hissing. Because of the unstable ground, we didn't have the carrier close by. We had to carry her scruffed through the net towards the carrier before transferring her in safely. As soon as we got her home and did her assessment, we realized she was in pain. We ran straight to her vet and got a pain medication. She was feisty, but we were finally able to administer her pain meds so that we could further assess her. She was covered in feces and mosquito larvae that were still moving. Her legs were inoperable and we could tell that she had no feeling in them. We knew we needed to get her cleaned up immediately. It took five different water changes and close to an hour to get her completely clean. We had to move slowly to make sure we didn't cause any further harm to her legs. She was scared and we don't know how much contact she's had with humans before, but she knew we were trying to help and eventually started to calm down. While cleaning her, we found a point of impact, which may have been how she was injured. We still don't know what caused the injury or how severe it is, but we will be getting more answers today. After her body bath, we dried her off, cleaned her face, and then filled her empty tummy with delicious food. We believe that she is incontinent, and because she can't pull herself in and out of a litter box, we've put her in diapers. We'll be heading to the vet later today in hopes of getting more answers. Bestet's recovery is going to be long. If you would like to donate to our cause, please visit the link in our bio.